have you become aware at any time that Monsignor Curry met with Father Nicholas and advised him that police might be contacted, but before police were contacted? My recollection was that on the Saturday morning following that Friday incident at the school, that uh, Bishop Monsignor Curry met with Father Rivera to take him out of the ministry there and then, which he did. Okay. And that was a proper action in your, your thinking? Yes. Even before police were notified? Yes. Why? Well, because attempts were made to reach uh, Child Family Services by the uh, principal. You've since become aware, have you not, that Monsignor Curry's meeting, though, took place before police were actually contacted. Is that correct? Well, I'd say police or Child Family Services. Uh, it isn't just police. It's in, in this state and this county, your main reporting entity is Child Family Services. Do you think it was appropriate for Monsignor Curry to advise Father Nicholas Aguilar Rivera that police were likely to be contacted? I honestly don't know what Monsignor Curry told Father Rivera because I wasn't there. Second, this I think next one is six. So I'll mark this as I give it six. Don, this will be six.
get a chance to look at it. Mike, you got a chance? Okay. Yes. Um, Cardinal, I will represent to you and to Council that in response to requests for admissions, this document was admitted to have been written by Monsignor Curry on January 10th, 1988. Uh, I'll direct your attention to the second to last paragraph and the last sentence of it. I told him that it was likely the accusations would be re reported to the police and that he was in a good deal of danger. Um, do you think it would have been appropriate for Monsignor Curry in the meeting with Father Nicholas Aguilar Rivera on the Saturday morning to have informed him that police were likely to be contacted? Well, again, I was not at the meeting, and it, this appears to be kind of a file memorandum. So I'm not sure exactly what he said to Father Rivera. Right. My question, though, is this. Do you think it would have been appropriate, should he have told Father Nicholas Aguilar Rivera that police were likely to be contacted in this meeting that he's having on that Saturday morning, should he have told him that the police were likely to be contacted? I, I really don't have an opinion. Apparently, Father Rivera said he was going to stay with his sister and gave no indication he was leaving. So, it, Is there any reason that you can think of why he should have told Father Nicholas that the police were likely to be contacted? Well, of course, today, that's our policy. We not only call the police, we tell the accused priest that we are calling the police or have called the police or filed a report. Right. So it's your opinion that in 1987, on January 9th, on the Saturday morning, Father Nick, Fa Monsignor Curry should have told Father Nicholas that police were going to be contacted. Now, first of all, this is January 9th, 1988. I'm sorry. Correct. I, I apologize. The Thank meeting. you, Cardinal, the for meeting. listening carefully to the question. I apologize. Yeah, that meeting. was not intentional. It's your opinion that in January 9th, 1988, Monsignor Curry, as the vicar for clergy of the Los Angeles Archdiocese, should have told Father Nicholas Aguilar Rivera that the police were likely to be contacted. And again, I really don't have an opinion because I'm, I'm thinking of this in terms of today and what we do today. And so I can't respond to, okay. I, I can't put myself back in 1988 absent today. So it's a very difficult response. When did you first learn that Monsignor Curry had met with Father Nicholas on that Saturday morning, January 9th, 1988. Yeah. <clears throat> Whenever I got the memo of January 10, 1988, where he says, I saw Father Rivera at St. Agatha's on Saturday morning. So whenever it was that you reviewed the January 10th, 1988 memo that we have it marked as Exhibit 1. one. That's the first time you learned of that meeting? Yes. Okay. Did you speak with Monsignor Curry relating to that shortly thereafter? As I testified earlier today, I don't recall exactly when I got this and whether he gave it to me, it was on my desk, or whether he came into my office and gave it to me and talked about it. I, I simply can't recall. Right. Can you see how Monsignor Curry informing Father Nicholas in the morning of January 9th, 1988, that there are families accusing you of molesting their sons, their children, and that police are likely to be notified? that that could, in fact, encourage Father Nicholas Aguilar Rivera to flee the jurisdiction? And again, I'm just going on the file memorandum 
uh, Father Rivera said he's going to stay with his sister. And I don't know, uh, Bishop Curry may be able to respond to your question better than me, but I don't know exactly. Maybe it's all speculation. But sitting here today, you can't see that. You can't see that informing Father Aguilar Rivera on that Saturday morning of these most serious allegations <clears throat> and that the police were likely to be notified that that wouldn't have the effect or that would in fact have the effect of encouraging him to flee the jurisdiction. You know, I, I really don't have an opinion on that.